Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. Here we are going to demonstrate an Informatica scenario which is quite commonly asked in most of the interviews. So all the people who are going to attend the interview for an ETL developer, they should understand this scenario. Maybe for all the who are having a middle level experience or senior developers or team leads, so in this scenario, we are going to send alternate records from the source to the target definitions or the flat file it can be or a database tables. In other words, sometimes the interviewer can ask that I want to send the odd records into one table and the event records into another table. So either ways this question can be asked and you may be um, asked to simply like demonstrate this scenario through a mapping on a piece of paper or, or something. So let's quickly see this and how we approach and what should be a thought process. Okay. So let's see a input file which I have. So here you see we have a file which is having six records. So it should something appear like A in one table and B in second table and again C in one table and D in second table. So either ways you can interpret this like sending alternate records to like table 1, table 2, then table 1, then table 2 or you can say sending the odd records to table 1 and the even records to table 2. Now we will quickly jump and start making the mapping. We have a source. And we have a target here. It's going to be a simple target having just one column in both of them. Now, when we say that we are going to send alternate records, or we say an odd or even record, it should immediately flash in your mind that we are going to use a uh, two records at a time or a couple of records like one, two then 3, 4, then 5, 6 in this manner. This should be a thought process. So in this case we should be using a sequence generator. And let's quickly check the properties. Everything looks good and we need to start it by 1 because the numbering starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And now we need an expression transformation to calculate the odd and even records. So we will drag this next value here. We will drag our original fields here and then we are going to calculate the logic. So if you remember the basic from your programming days where you used to like fetch alternate records it simply means you are going to use a remainder like divide the number by 2 and if the remainder is 0 it's an even record and if it's not then it's an odd record. So we will rename this as remainder and do the calculation in this expression. Now you see we are going to use mod function. What does mod do? Returns the remainder of m divided by a number n. So we are going to take the remainder of the next value. That is the sequence of the numbers we are going to use. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now here is a trick. 
like sometimes the interviewer can ask you that i don't want that alternate record i want every third record go into table 3 second record go into table 2 and first record go into table 1 or maybe further like every fourth record in table 4 and so on there are four different targets so in this case you can remember this that the number of target tables is going to be the number which i'm which i'm going to divide the number from which i'm going to find the remainder okay but this will only help you to remember i will say that you should focus on the core concept but as of now if you want to remember this then you can simply learn it as the number of target tables and this is going to be the same number okay let's validate this it's good now here you see we have a sequence and we have a remainder so we have found out the the we have segregated the data into an odd record and an even record now the informatica can distinguish it the only thing which is left out is to route this data into particular target so we have target 1 and we have a target 2 so let's assume that this is for odd record and this is going to be for the even record so who will do this task of routing the data into two different targets obviously a router let's quickly drag it here and we can quickly drag these fields and make groups so for odd group i am going to write the condition here okay just think what should be the condition for all the odd records if you divide by 2 if you divide a number by 2 the remainder should be 1 right let's validate this it says remainder there's some error let's quickly move back it's because we have given remainder a string so a string cannot be a number right let's make this an integer we will go here and now we will validate this oops it's still not working let's see why this is because in the router it's still an string we will propagate the attributes now it becomes a string integer here now it works fine we can also make a group for even numbers even though it's a no brainer that a record can only be odd and even so if you are creating an odd by default everything will come into rest of the thing like the even records will go into default but for the sake of the this lecture let's make it an even record also okay so we will drag our fields here and here so the odd one goes into this one and the even goes into this one that is dummy 11 and dummy 1 let's go and make a ma create a workflow we will use the wizard now we'll quickly make the changes at the session level that is we will define the source and target name
as if the file is having only one column so there is not much to do in the delimiter side if, even if it's csv or something else it won't create a problem now this is the dummy one one that is going to be the record which is having even records this is going to have the odd records now we have saved it let's quickly run this Let's see, this particular workflow has already succeeded. Okay, so let's go and check the target. Yes, it's created. Let's see. Yes, it works fine. If you see, let me open the source file also. You have all the event records here and you have all the odd records here. So this was quite simple but there is a twist which the inform Informatica uh, like the interviewer can throw on you and you have to tackle it. I will tell you how. Let's delete these files. Okay. So this is the most common way in which generally the the people who are going to for the interview they answer the candidates they answer in this manner now the interviewer can ask you okay I don't know about the mod function or I just don't want to use it I want to extensively use the sequence generator okay boom this is gone <laughs> so you are left with the sequence generator now you have to think of some property how the sequence generator can help you Remember this cycle property, what it does? It simply makes the cycle like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once it reaches 5, it again goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once you define your current uh, like the start value and increment, it reaches to that cycle and then it goes back again. So I will give the end value as 2. So how will the source data behave? Obviously something like this. Okay, we will not save this. So we got the idea that the we got the odd even or we just got a number to distinguish the record like the first record, second record then again first record, second record. So in this manner we can send the alternate records or if you want to interpret it like we want to send the odd record into one table and the even record into another table. So this is done. Okay. We will be removing this router because this logic is not going to be used. Now we will quickly combine the output from the sequence generator and the output from the source qualifier that is our input row and we don't have to do any calculations here we just want the router to distinguish between the incoming rows on the basis of the value generated that is the sequence generated by the sequence generator so let's use a router here and I will drag these values here let's quickly create a group I will give it this odd and let's go here and if you see the next value if it's one that is all the odd records this time I'm not going to create a default like I'm not going to create a separate group 
because the value is either 1 or it's going to be 2 that is a default there is no other value so we can simply utilize this Okay, let's drag this one and the default value as we did in the last that is all the event records over here. We'll quickly save this, we'll go and refresh this mapping. Let's see, I don't think we have made any changes in the source. We see it's here. It's here. Minutes. Okay. Let's save this and run this. Oh, this time it failed. The sequence generator had reached its end value. Let's go here and see the properties oh the current value is 7 because remember we had 6 record this is some practical thing that you have to remember it has reached us because we have used the same sequence generator so it has already run over 6 records so the current value became 7 and now it has bypassed the end value right so let's reset this and start it again so let's use the reset option you see the files are here okay Let's check the files. Strange, we got some different output. Okay, we must have passed the wrong ports. Let's see. Okay, we passed the next value. We should pass this field. Let's save this. Refresh the mapping and run it again. Let's delete this. The files are here. Okay, now it's working fine. So here you see there are two different approach in this scenario on how we can send alternate records or odd records into one table and even records into another table. If you still have any doubts or questions, do comment and let me know. Till then, happy learning.